Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to post a video about uh, enabling Realtek 8821CE Wi-Fi driver on Lenovo IdeaPad 330 15ARR. But before we begin the video, as we know we are facing a terrible crisis these days. So many people have died and we've been under lockdown for almost four weeks now. A tribute to all those people who have died and uh, let's hope that we recover from this terrible, terrible disease and uh, everything comes back to normal very soon. Please stay safe guys. So let's start the video. We will enable this driver on Ubuntu 20.04 which is the beta version of Ubuntu and uh, earlier we used to install the drivers from GitHub we used to compile from source and then we used to enable the module uh, load the module manually but this time we are just going to enable it from a tool that is provided on Ubuntu. So let's start. So before we start uh, the process uh, I wanted to tell you one more thing that you need to have internet connectivity. I've already connected to internet using an Android phone through a USB cable so you need to have some kind of internet connectivity to uh, to do this thing and uh, after that we will hit the launcher and we will select additional drivers application it's searching for available drivers you see this tab additional drivers it will list our driver in a while here you can see Realtek Semiconductor RTL 8821CE PCIe Wireless Network Adapter. It's now set to do not use this device, but I'm going to enable this device using DKMS source for the Realtek 8821CE. Okay, let's apply. Hit your password. changes are being applied and uh, one more thing while the software or the driver is installed if you guys want uh, a review of uh, Ubuntu 20 on Lenovo IdeaPad 330 or any Ryzen laptop I can do that review uh, so let me know in the comments section if you want a review I'll do this only if there are people who really want to watch how Ubuntu plays with our Ryzen. It's taking a bit of time because it compiles uh, this DKMS and what this DKMS does is that uh, whenever you update uh, the drivers will be updated uh, I mean when you update your kernel the driver will be updated for that kernel you don't have to reinstall it so it's a good thing uh, as I was saying if you want uh, me to do a review of Ubuntu 20.04 which is beta as of now I've been running it for a couple of days and it runs smooth if you want a review just let me know in the comments and our driver it's still installing I like this version of Ubuntu so far it's been stable and uh, yeah I, I've installed FIFA 19 using Lutris but uh, 
it didn't run as well as I would have liked on this Ryzen 2500U. Uh, I've been trying to get it to perform well, but so far I haven't succeeded. It gives good frame rates, but it's not that good. I mean, it's not like smooth as of now. I've been playing with the distro uh, for a couple of days and I'll be doing a review if you guys are interested, so please let me know. Still installing. It's gonna take a while. Let's see. Yeah, it's done now. We have enabled the driver. Uh, it's asking to restart to complete the driver changes. Uh, let me try one thing. I'm not going to. I'm not going to restart. I'm just going to load the module. Uh, it's called 8821CE. I don't know what it is called. Maybe I should restart. I think the driver hasn't loaded yet so we're gonna have to restart in order to activate the driver because I can't see it in the list of modules it's not there as of now so a restart is necessary so I'll restart and I'll come back and show you if the driver is installed or not so stay tuned so I have restarted my laptop and let's check if the driver is installed or not as you can see Wi-Fi not connected uh, it's installed you can confirm through terminal oh, LF mod grip 8821 and we have RTL 8821CE so the module is loaded and the driver is installed we can try to connect to a network if I remember my password this time let's see I tried to connect with the wrong password so it wouldn't connect I'll have to go to settings and okay I can change it from here let's hope it's not wrong So I managed to connect, as you can see, so finally we have our driver up and running. So this was a tutorial about enabling Realtek 8821CE driver on Ubuntu 20.04. It may work on other Linux distros too, but it depends uh, if they have an application like this uh, or if they have something in their repository in, in their package managers. So let me know if you want a review about Ubuntu 20.04 in the comments and please subscribe if you like the video and hit like and share the video and stay safe guys and uh, until next time goodbye